So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video, and today we have a coin of Vespasian. So this is an S coin, AS, a Roman S coin, and it actually differentiates from the Cisturdius in that it's actually quite thin, so Cisturdius is generally thicker than this, usually about mm, 18 to 20 grams, and this one's about 9.5 to 10 grams, so it's only worth one quarter of a Cisturdius, and it's actually worth one sixteenth of a Denarius. So a Denarius is actually a smaller silver coin, the smallest silver coin of this time. It's equivalent in size to this Western Kashapana coin, about four to five, uh, three to four grams actually, and pretty much the same size. And this was for the most of the time period in the Roman Empire, the smallest coin. They did issue a semis and a quadrans, but they are more sporadically minted, so they weren't minted in every reign, and they weren't minted uh, in every year. So this one actually has a high relief portrait, as you can see there, very high, very thick. And the inscription on it has Imperial, so Imperator, Caesar, who was the high designate of the empire, Vespasian, Vespasianus, ah, uh, Vespasian, and Augustus. So you can mistake that for A N U A U S, uh, but that's Augustus, and that means he was the reigning emperor. Then we have cons, so it's consul. Looks like three, could be four. So that will be about 71, 72. And consul was actually the highest magistrate. There were actually two consuls, not just one. And they both had pretty much similar powers. But at this time period, uh, the emperor who was consul had more power than the other consul. Quote. That's uh, logical. But the other consul was pretty much trusted by the emperor for a certain reason. Either political or family, it doesn't matter. And as you can see, this guy is actually, looks like he was quite well fed. So he had lots of fat on him. And there was another coin called the Dupondius. That is pretty similar to this coin, except it had a radiated crown. So it had a crown with uh, points on it. Uh, I don't have one here, do I? Uh, no, no. And... The Antonianus, which is the bronze coin issued under the reign of Antonianus, uh, actually has a radio crown, so you can actually find that quite easily. On the reverse, we have Equitas Augusti, and Equitas is pretty much equity, so it stands for justice, equality, conformity, symmetry, and fairness. So anything that's pretty um, stands for two people being equal. So, like, ooh, justice, if someone's been wrong, then they get justice and punishment for those who do the wrong. Uh, fairness, so probably uh, a fairness in price for a product. And Equitas is actually the figure standing there has a balance scale and a staff or a spear it usually references a staff but it could be a spear not too sure and then we have SC in the which is the Latin for um, Senat Senatus Consultus and that means with the permission of the Senate so the bronze coins are actually issued by the Senate and here I have another coin from Antioch with SC on it so the Senate actually issued all these uh, instead of the Emperor or the city so that is what SC actually stands for and it's actually on a lot of these bronze coins if you actually get them that are below the denarius in denomination but this is actually quite a nice coin, I quite like it. 
Now it has a lot of corrosion, so uh, a lot of people will probably mistake this for actual a cast coin, but if you put that down, we get some Chinese cash coins. Uh, if you see the actual Chinese cash coins, this is a cast coin, it's generally what it looks like. So that's a pitting that we see in there. And let's compare it with this coin. Okay, so this coin actually looks like corrosion. So really it is a coin that uh, was not probably, probably lost in the ground in the type of soil that actually was not amenable to conservation of metals. So it helps the actual metals degrade quite easily. And you can see that on his face. So that's a cast coin, this one is a coin that's in poor condition. But anyway, I actually quite like it anyway. And you can see the same thing on this coin. Very corroded. So a lot of actual ancient coins are actually like this, and this one's pretty much the same corroded coin. So that's why you need to keep the patina on the coin, so don't get that. Um, black stuff coming off. I only had to take it out next time I'll actually wear gloves when I'm actually doing this video because uh, this is actually not a good thing to do. So there you go, so that's how you should handle your coins. So if anyone wants to tell me off, that's okay. But the price of this coin you're probably looking probably about 40 to 50 dollars I would say. Uh, that's what I've seen himself for. But now we're in an economic downturn. Uh, Either people will probably stop selling or they'll just try and put their coins for a cheaper price. But I would say a lot of people probably just stop selling and hold the stock until better times actually comes around. So anyway, that's a nice beautiful Roman coin. If you're interested in Roman coins, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, I don't sell these coins because I actually like to keep them for my collection. So, I would like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I hope this interests you in Roman coins. Okay, it seems when I put a white background, it comes out better than uh, the standard black background. So, yeah, I would encourage you to actually look up Roman coins and uh, see if you can find some good ones. A good website to go to is V Coins. They have a lot of Roman coins. And from sellers all over the world. Uh, Calgary coins is actually quite good for some old coins but there are also some others. Anyway, hope you enjoy Roman coins because they are a very fascinating thing to actually find and get because of the history. Thank you and bye bye.